All right, we've got the graph, we've got the table, so let's go on and start answering the questions now. So is this graph increasing or decreasing? How do you know? Well, we can see that as time goes on or as my x gets bigger, this is going up. So it's definitely going to be increasing. Um, and we can tell that from the graph that's increasing or even our table is increasing. So either one of those are good um, explanations of how you know. So make sure you do write something down about how you know. So make sure you explain that. And once again, you could say either by the table or by the graph. Okay, what is the y-intercept of the graph? So my y-intercept is the point where it crosses the y-axis. Um, we can see it from the graph or we can see it from the table right there. So what is my y-intercept? It's going to be 0, comma, 1. Uh, don't forget the parentheses, don't forget the comma. Question C, what is the x-intercept of the graph? Okay, this is when we want to see what the x, uh, where it crosses the x-axis. Right, since we look at our table, um, we want to see where this is 0. It never actually hit 0 in our table. And on our graph, we can't actually see where it crosses that line, so where we have our x-intercept. So let's skip that question. We are definitely going to come back to it, but let's go down to D. So D says, if we were to continue the graph to the right, what would happen to the graph? Use your table and your calculator to help you explain. So let's bring this back. So I'm going to go hit second graph again to get my table. So if we continue going to the right, so we're going to continue going down. Let's see what's happening to our graph. So as you can see, just by 18, um, or let's get all the way to 20, we are already going super, super high. We're already into the millions here. So we can tell that as we go to the right, um, our graphs can get really high really fast. So go ahead and write something down. Um, go ahead and pause the video. When you come back, I'll have my writing there too. All right, so it will get really high really fast is what I put. Question E, if we were to continue the graph to the left, what would happen to the graph? Would the y values ever be zero? Would they ever be negative? Use the table on your calculator to help you explain. So we're gonna bring the calculator back. So now I'm gonna scroll the other way and I wanna see if I continue my x values getting smaller, um, do we ever get to zero, do we cross zero and get to negative numbers, what happens? So let's take a look. All right, negative 3 is where we started. We're going to keep on going. We're getting smaller, 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 really small. Oh, now we're into scientific methods, so that means there's going to be four zeros. And we're going to keep getting smaller and smaller, but we're never actually going to reach zero, as you can see. Um, if you remember in the past couple weeks, we've talked about if we keep having a number, um, or it keeps getting smaller and smaller, does it actually ever reach zero? And technically, no, it doesn't. It just gets to be very, very microscopic. Um, so if we go back to C, what is the x-intercept of the graph? There's none. There is no x-intercept here because it's never actually going to reach zero. If we were to continue the graph to the left, what would happen to the graph? So it's going to get closer to zero. but never touch or actually cross zero. Okay, so it's gonna get closer to zero, but it's never actually going to touch or cross. Um, and if you have any questions on that concept, go ahead and raise your hand, um, and I'll kind of explain it to you a little bit more. Um, we'll also be talking about it on the next video. Also on the graph here, I'm just going to finish my graph. So this left side here, we're going to continue writing that one out. Um, like I said, it's going to get very, very close to zero, but it's never actually going to touch it. So you can see my line's going to go, keep going, um, but it's never going to touch zero or cross zero. Uh, 